Okay. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be giving a comprehensive guide on how to loop stuff as a survivor because there's a lot of guides out there about how to loop stuff as a killer. Not a lot for survivors. So today I have my good friend Jason who cannot hear me because I'm deaf in Discord. He's going to be serving as the killer for this match and I'm going to be looping him. Um, and he has been a very um, helpful candidate for this as he is not very good at killer. So he's going to be a very good... Um, guinea pig as it was for me to loop him around stuff um, and we're going to be starting on suffocation pit i'm going to show you how to loop out wall t walls jungle gyms long wall short walls and some of the junk piles as well as well as the um the main building on suffocation pit um it would it would depend on which window we get but we'll see um um it is worth saying though most um most loops in dead by Dale, especially when you're playing survivor are reactionary to the killer. If the killer goes in one direction, you're obviously going to want to go the other way to create distance. It's all about making distance between you and the killer. That's how you play starter. So we're spawning in. Immediately I spawn in an L wall, T wall. There's the hatch, but I'm not going to take it. Um, junk pout here. Junk pout here. Looks like we got some good spawns. Dead zone over there. We have shack. Pout here. Thank God. Tank tracks, unfortunately. Another pout here. L wall, T wall. Uh, okay. Long wall, short wall. Alright, so this- Oh, wow, what a setup. Okay. We can do a lot with this. I need to find him now. He's probably playing Wraith. I hear him. I see him. I'm gonna burn him. Alright. That was a bit of a specific killer thing. <laughs> oh, he's going back invisible. All right. Hi, Jason. I see. Oh, we actually got it. Okay. So we have a pal there. We're going to try to make that last. I'm going to try to explain my thought process. I have to shout over Chase music right now. Um, this window is not very strong. I, I probably won't be able to use it. The one thing you're going to use this for is window baits. And if you if you curve it at a 90 degree right there, you can actually um, get a fast fault there. Looks like we have the bad window that's closed. That's unfortunate. He's trying to cut me off. Or something. I hear him. There he goes. I'm going to chase him. I feel bad that I brought a flashlight. Um... This is the this window right here is the main way you're gonna loop the this um main structure. He vaulted it. He didn't even uncloak. This feels bad. This window will never block because I'm on chase with him. He vaulted. <laughs> I feel so bad. We're gonna get away. We're gonna get away. <laughs> um. So I'm going to show you how OP this setup is. So this is a long wall jungle gym. Definitely the strongest general spawning structure in the game. Into our wall T wall here. So I can run the length of this. And then even if he outplays me a bit, I can still take the window at the long wall. Where is he? There he is. Alright, so we can just take this window. No big deal. This is why suffocation bit is super strong. Because you can get just... Stupid, stupid setups like this. Um, we got a pallet here. I don't know if he knows that. Here. I'm just gonna run through it. Might be taking a hit here. Nope. Let's go this way. Um, the whole thing about Survivor is you want to save pallets as much as possible. I'm really shouting at Reggie's music right here. Save pallets as much as possible. I'm gonna fake this. All right. I'm gonna run the length of this and then take the window. Smart. I'm, I'm out positioned here. I don't think he's gonna fall for it. Whoops. That was just a bit of weird pathing on my part. Woo! <laughs> he's swinging like crazy. Um, going invisible. Bad, bad idea. Um, but we have a billion pallets here, and we've been running him for about two minutes. And obviously, he's not very good. Poor Jason. And we haven't used a single pallet just because I'm so resistant to throwing them down. And we have a bunch of pallets here. I'm not going to throw these down if I can help it. 
We have Shaq here. Chaining loops is really what makes Survivor playing good. And because I mapped out this area earlier, I know what I can do. I know that I can run around this pallet a bit and then go through the door at Shaq and then use this outwall T wall and then chain it into the long wall jungle gym. And he can't really make distance or counter me in any way because I, I'm, I mean, I'm not burning pallets. I'm just mainly using windows and running through pallets to get distance on him. Obviously, we're going to get bloodlust soon here. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm not... Oh, Alright, we're not going to burn him this time. Too bad. It's all it. All right, Killer's reaction or Survivor's reaction, rather. Cause I see he's vaulting that window, so I have to go this way around it, so it doesn't cut me off. And now he's running the path, so I can take the vault here. I suppose the the way to run L wall T walls is always trying to go for the fast vault, but just making distance, knowing when you can take a vault and when you can't. I think we got that. Nope. I'm out positioned here. I can use this. I kind of want to run through him. Cloaking again. Jason. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very mean. I wonder if I can get the exit gates or something. We have tank trucks here, so I'm, I'm alone running this pallet, which kind of sucks. There's really no way for me to get to something else without using this. Unless he, like, loses me or something, which seems impossible. Alright. If a killer does this, just... Don't throw it. Ever. Oh, whoops. He got, he got a little greedy. A little antsy. Sorry, Jason. No, you respected it. Alright, now I can... Nope. We're gonna get back to the pallet. Still not gonna throw it. Nice. He got a hit! He got a hit! He totally read me. Very good. He could totally get me now. Where is he? There he is. He's going along the other way. I'm gonna die to endgame collapse. But like, see, we... I'm teaching you... This isn't really about how to loop stuff, but how to chain stuff. Like, we have a window there, and then a pallet here. So I can run around the pallet. And then take the window. And then run through Shack Pallet, and then potentially go to the Pallet again and use it again, or use the Pallet, or whatever. You actually got a hit on me. You destroyed. You lost. Totally read me. Okay, um... Is this, this looks even worse. Nope, we got a Pallet here. Cool. Pallet there, that's pretty good. Um, still dead zone right here. Uh, oh yeah, this is one of the more unique ones as well. We can run this. Um, four lane. We didn't run the four lane in the suffocation pit, so we can try that one now. Even worse dead zone here. Very unlucky. We have Shaq. A hill, which you can leave the bounce landing. Wow. 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 Biggest dead zone I've ever seen. He's playing billiard. Okay. Long wall, short wall, four lane. Anything back here? Hatch. Okay, well that's out of sight. If he finds me, I'm going to be so out of position. This is the most royal dead zone I think I've ever seen. Oh, actually we have a pallet there. Alright, I thought it's not a bad set though. Hi. <laughs> Alright, um, so... Obviously, this isn't going to be every killer. You're not going to be able to get to a position like this, but we have a four lane here. So, we, the way you want to run these is we have bad RNG here. If the window is open for a fast fault, take it. But we can't really run this very well. <laughs> oh, I might be. Nope. <laughs> I 
I'm so mean. So much for friendship. Okay, so this this one is actually a better version of the four lane. It, kind of the idea of there's a weird winding way to get to the window. Right here. He's not going to know that's here. Okay, vaulting. We're going to camp this a little bit just to see what direction he's going to go. Looks like he went that way. So I get a fast vault. Thank God. Very strong. So long as you pad it the right way. Not super strong, but you know. Not weak. Right, we're not weak. I'm at positioned. Oh my god. He actually moonwalked. Baby's learning. Oh. Jason. 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 Can I take the window? I'm just going for it. YOLO. Okay, so we've, we've seen how to run these. Let's move on. Uh, we're going to stop with this pal to get rid of his bloodlust that he may or may not have. Actually, no, we're going to get right through it. Window here. Um, We're going to try to avoid... I mean, this main structure is completely RNG in terms of whether it's good. The way to run this is you got to have bounce landing, first of all. Or m maybe you don't, but it's better with bounce landing. Take this window. Just run around the stairs and then use this window. This window's really strong. And if you get a good window spawn here, then you do. But whatever. Let's, let's run it just to demonstrate. Jason. Jason. <laughs> so we're going to take the window. Let's see the window tech. Oh! He didn't know! That, that's risky. If he saw me, I would have been dead. And it looks like he completely lost me because of that. And if you have quick and quiet, this locker's. A oh. I see you. He's not running this the right way. Apparently quick and quiet is messing with him quite a bit. Is he up here? No, he's down there. I'm such a bully. I bounce landing, I kinda wanna save it. Okay, um, so you want to run it with him coming up the stairs, go through that door, and then around, and then take the window. The best way for the killer to go is jump down this way and cut you off at the, at the drop. If you bounce landing, that won't be the case. I really keeps leaving me. Just keep vaulting lockers until he decides to chase me. Don't do this. This is toxic. If the killer's not on you, do a gin. But... I'm trying to demonstrate something here. He's looking for the hatch, I think. He doesn't want me to escape or something. <laughs> Farming boldness just by jumping in and out of it in terror radius. Nice. That was good. But he gets no distance here. I'm pretty sure I get the... Wow, he's actually really fast. No, I get the window. Bad killers will just vault that. It looks like he did that. I'm going to do one more loop of it. Here he comes. Let's go up this way and around. Wonder if I try... Nope, not cut me off. Don't jump down that way. It's a death. Hi. Uh oh. Ah. Feels bad. He jumped on. Okay, we're gonna do one more leap of this. Thought he was coming off. That was good. Weird swing. All right. Um. Let's go to this way. Whoa. I 
Okay, um, this is just a junk tile. Here we have a jungle gym. Cut me off quite well. Uh, I think he gets a hit here. I'm going to use the pallet. Yeah. We're going to use this one. I want to get to that tile over there. Because that's that's the more he's going to chainsaw right through that. And then I get to go over here. That's what reading your killers is all about. I knew that he was just going to commit to that. Obviously, because he's not very good, but... Still stands. This is pretty strong. There's no mind gaming this long wall of logs. This is so stupid. I just run around this all day. Oh, auto aim. He doubted himself. Nice. Okay, I don't have bounce landing because I've used it. We're gonna use the locker play. He's cutting me off. No, he's not. I can't quite do it. And I'm at a dead zone here. I gotta get somewhere. Alright, we got a pallet here. I'm trying to make my way all the way to the locker tile on the other end. Where'd he go? Oh, he lost me. Okay. Jesus. Scary. Okay, locker tile is... Oh, it was back over here. Never mind. No, that's a four lane. Where's the locker tile? It's over here somewhere. I gotta find it first. And this is the last one I'm gonna show. Four lane. Long wall, short wall. Was there even one that spawned? Apparently not. We didn't get one. Anyway, that locker tile is bad. You can only over, like, run the window once and then throw the bout. I can't. It's the only tile on the map that can't actually be looped because it's so terrible. You can't get a fast vault on the window in any way, unless you run around it the weird way, but that can be easily cut off. Um, I see him. It's looking for hatch. I'm gonna run shack, I think. Have my, I'm gonna rip myself. Then I'm gonna run shack. If I can rip myself, that'd be nice. Does he see me? Bounce running away! Whoa! Alright. Oh god. Fake it. You gotta fake it, gotta fake it, gotta fake it. Oh no, he almost curved that right. That could have easily been a hit. Nice moonwalk, my dude. Um, I'm gonna blind him at the vault. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> that was so... I think he... Jason has the wrong idea about moonwalking. And it throws me off so much. I think he's starting... What? Where? I think he's starting a revolution. The non-moonwalk moonwalk. Because that actually tripped me up. I have no idea where he was. I think it's Beast of Prey. Or something. To get rid of his red stain. Oh. I think I'm pretty sure he has Beast of Prey. Nice. Am I close? Fast fault. He has to fall in for me to blind him oh my god it's so scary he knows I'm not gonna drop it good for him I think he's lagging a bit feels bad I see you nice moonwalks <laughs> my dude man this guy's getting me oh god I hesitated I hesitated it's because he's so weird. <laughs> well done. He actually outplayed me. Jason, a round of applause. The worst killer in Dead by Daylight. He, he got me. He got me. I'm so proud of my boy. Man, that was great. Look at this dead zone, by the way. Holy. Where are you taking me? 
Oh. Okay. That was good. Anyways, that's how you loop stuff, or mainly how to chain stuff. I really didn't want to do a critique on each uh, tile because it's very reactionary. So what I did was I went into a game with a killer who wasn't very good. Um, and I just ran tiles, explained my thought process and how to chain them because looping stuff is not hard. Chaining stuff is hard and it's what makes you a good survivor. If you think you're, if you think looping pallets is what makes you good, you're wrong. Chaining stuff is what makes you a good survivor. And that's how you do it. Uh, obviously with a bad killer, but it still applies. And look at that, good sportsmanship. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment, I think. And remember, stay gamer. Ha <laughs> ha.